Ela me corta com. Hello, world. How's it going? Hope you guys are all doing great. If not, I hope it gets better for you. So today, I wanted to share with you this tank down here. Oh my gosh. That light on there. It's horrible. Hold on. Flip you guys around here. Yeah, I wish on live, I wish I could change my exposure, but it doesn't allow me to do that. But I wanted to share with you guys this tank that has African cichlid mix in it. Looks like there's some leftover clown puke in there too from when somebody else had it. But I get asked often, especially at like clubs when I talk and stuff like that, whether plants will actually survive and thrive in African cichlid mix, the really hard... Uh, buffering substrate that most people use for like cichlids or guppies soft water say if you're trying to harden it up a bit and i actually used to struggle with this plant a lot this is a carnelis nobleus something like that i think that's right also known as a cardinal plant it's always been tricky for me and this tank has absolutely no co2 so this is a low-tech setup this is luigi archaeata you could do like rotalia colorada a bunch of other rotalias a bunch of other luigias then we got bronze crypt in here and the thing about this tank as well is if you look down here like there's a little height there but then you look down here it's really really bare so there's not a whole lot of substrate actually in there that these are rooted to this was a little test I was doing with just the uh, air filter a long time ago. I was just trying to keep it from being buried and just um, just trying something different. The one different thing I do have in this tank as well is there's a power head there and it actually pushes the water up and spreads it off the surface, which really helps with the biofilm. I kind of like that. It seems like the plants like that too, that upward motion. Uh, let's see, we got sword tails in here, they're breeding out. We've got a ton of shrimp in here breeding out. These actually have purple neocaridinias. That's a male right there. Looking kind of chocolate though. A lot of wilds as you see. But yeah, there's a lot of plants you can actually keep in African cichlid mix. And you can keep mosses in there, say if you don't want, or you don't have good luck with stems guppy grass there's a penny wart you can float up top penny wart will pretty much grab whatever like i said tons of mosses you could keep but no i mean this is a bronze crypt look how healthy this bronze crypt is this is just a winty eye absolutely beautiful and it hardly has any substrate whatsoever i got some texas holy rock in there and then i've got the fluval 3.0 i do like the fluval 3.0 pretty nice light a little more expensive than the aqua neat but i mean this would probably do the same even with the aqua neat this isn't really necessary especially since i have that pump in there i should just get rid of that because that's just kind of an eyesore it would look a lot better with that sitting in there but having all the tanks that i do it's uh easy to let that kind of stuff go when you got to deal with everything and right now we're we're trying to keep everything warm here i am in indianapolis right now in this tank for instance i think let's see here if we get the color to show up on here it actually it's reading at 68 you can't see it on here but it is reading at 68 i think this tank up here is like 70. this is the one i aquascaped not too long ago for you guys live Looks like the bellum. Yeah, look back there, that lymphophilia bellum. That actually wasn't doing that until recently, I don't think. Even though I'm not seeing a lot of the uh, pieces to it. I wonder if the cold's getting to it. But everything else in there seems to be doing well. I'm using it as a fry grow out right now. But yeah, I'm going to keep this video short. wanted to share this with you guys. Show you guys that you can plant plants in a... Uh, african cichlid mix and hello everybody in the chat i'm gonna go ahead and scroll through here to make sure there's no questions about this topic scrolling 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 hello 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 all you awesome people 
And I'm surprised how well these shrimp have been doing with these uh, sword tails. All right, so I don't think I'm seeing any. Let's see, I grow plants on organized sand and some don't do well, others thrive. Yeah, so some plants do prefer softer water, some plants prefer harder water. And um, as far as which ones are which, I'm not 100% because I get mixed reviews with them for sure. For sure, this Lymphnophilia bellum's melting too in here. It's gotta be the cold. Even though this tank runs a little warmer, but that's kind of weird. Well, it could be this plant, actually. See, I wonder if that's what's killing it in the other plant. So that, I believe it's called allopathy or something like that, when a plant could kill another plant. Like, see over here, it's hugging over to the red lotus. And it's grown fine. It's actually grown strong over here. It's like, okay, let's compete with this. But then it comes over to this, which I believe is a macaranda. And uh, it's not even trying, look. And that's what's next to it in that 75. Very interesting, very, very interesting. 240's getting a little greenish. We haven't been doing water changes. We're actually in the third week of water changes in the fish room right now because uh, it's been so cold. If I put it down eco-complete, then a thin layer of sand to make it look nice, will the plants grow through the sand to eco-complete? For sure, yeah, definitely. I like sand because it'll actually grip onto the plants real nicely, especially if you're putting down stems that haven't been rooted yet. So that's very, very helpful. Yeah, like the uh, wind chills around here have been like negative 50 to 30 to... Regular temperatures being negative 15. It's been crazy around here. Like my house is iced over. All right, but yeah, that's something to think about too. So we are actually seeing that happening right now with that. All right, so no last questions. Gonna hop off here. I appreciate you guys all. Oh wait, here's one, Wiley Loop. Yeah, see, same plants, same thing over there. Wiley Lou, I have a 20 long with Ecoplate and Phoenix Stingray Light, and I'm having a hard time getting stem plants to root. Should I add sand or a different soil? Uh, sand will probably help you out. Soil could help you out. Um, if you're having troubles with like the fish like picking them up, you can use like plant anchors or try to sink them down or hold them down with a rock or something till they do root over for you. If they're just melting back to you, sometimes you can have too much light, not enough nutrients, and you can actually burn a plant out that way as well. Like a lot of these plants, they're pretty lightly lit. And I find they tend to do better, in my opinion, especially for a low tank. Do you not run heaters in your tank? So a few of my tanks, like the ones on the bottom here, they definitely get heaters. And then like say in the corner over here, I've got my space heater that kind of helps warm that stuff up. But for the most part, I try to keep the whole room warm, but with the cold, the radiant cold ends up coming up. That's why I heat the bottom mostly. And I just gotta, I gotta watch out for that because it adds up after like so many days and whatnot. All right. But yeah, a lot's been going on here. Oh man, it's been a while since I actually done one of these lives too. I'm kind of out of the uh, routine here. But I'm gonna get back to that. I need to get back to that. It's just, oh, I can't wait till summer for sure. Michael Wall, hashtag summer is coming. See, so, yeah, I see a lot of you guys are feeling the cold as well. <laughs> Who else gets fat and sassy in winter? Hey, that's me. That is definitely me. I like to hibernate too. I'm not one for the winter. Because a lot of things I want to do, like I'm planning on moving my 20 by 20 rack in my guest bedroom to make more room for like, turn that into like more like a fish breeding where I, where I can have these more display and then have that room more fish breeding. But who wants to do that when it's like negative degrees out and you don't have room to put anything? What plants do you have in your un- 
seated tub. I don't know what you mean by that. What plants do you have in your unheated tub? The tubs outside are heated. So they have like corkscrew valve and stuff in it. Uh -huh. I hate the overcast. Nothing is worse than weeks of gray sky. Yeah, if only that was a real overcast. I watched them lay it down earlier today. Brad Waiter, any losses from the cold weather? No, so far so good. I'm hoping everything's doing good out in the ponds. I haven't even, I don't even, when it gets like this, I don't even open up the ponds. That way it doesn't let anything out. I don't mess with anything. Did my power breaker just break? What kind of heaters do I use? Uh, Odessia? That's the only bad thing about one or two is, uh, I'm really pushing the power in this house, so when I'm adding them uh, big heaters, they take out a ton of wattage and amps. So, yeah, I'm lights out here. This usually happens frequently. It's because I got two heaters running. Which one is it? It's good to sometimes let that cool down a little bit too, because that's what'll happen is it's heating up there. It's causing it to switch over. I probably need to look into replacing those two this summer. <sighs> but yeah, not enough power. I need more power. All right. Ch -ch -ch -ch. The fishy life. It's not a theory. Watch your sky. You'll see. Lucas, would Koi be able to overwinter in these temps? Um, if deep enough, possibly. So, yes. Depends on how you do it. All right, I got to hop off here, everybody. It's been great hanging out with you. I got to get back to it. And I think I got all the questions. So like, subscribe, share all that jazz. And I'm planning on being on here more often. It's these uh, edited videos that are like hour long, take forever. But anyways, peace, everybody. Have a great one.